Argentina beat Panama 2-0 in a friendly and Lionel Messi scores his 800th goal between club and country. Gav, I have a feeling that this record does not impress you. No, it does not. Uh, combining goals, goals, goals for club and country. He's not a thing. 800 goals. Not a he thing. The guy. Not a thing. But not still, a thing. he scored 800 no, let me, goals. Can I give you another one? 90, I think it's 96 or 98 goals for Argentina. Uh, that impresses me. Okay. okay. This, this, this adding things together. But that means not 700 goals for the club. Not a way. thing. Not a thing. Okay. No, also, they, but yeah, for the club, but then they don't count his goal with Barcelona C and Barcelona B. Uh, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. <laughs> yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo won his 197th and 198th international caps to break the men's international record. Um, and he also scored four goals in those games to break his own goal scoring record and bring his total to 122. Jules, are you going to be blasé because no. it was only Liechtenstein and Luxembourg and be a Cristiano hater? They all count the same, Gav. Whoever you depend, it doesn't it doesn't matter who you who you play and who you score against. Yeah, you can argue that it's probably easier to score against them than against better team. But he was there. He was the new Roberto Martinez era. Cristiano started the two games. I still think there are question marks and issues because. Once they play against better teams, this is this is the million dollar question. Jules. Exactly. Do you still start? Is Roberto going to keep Cristiano in his plans once they play tougher teams or not? Because I heard Bernardo Silva talking after the Liechtenstein game, saying like, "Yeah, we're going to counter press. We're going to do this. We're going to do that." And yeah, everything that, yeah. that he was saying, Cristiano could not really feature in that in that style of playing. So, be interesting to see. There's a few more uh, months and weeks now before the next Portugal game, but it'd be very interesting to see for sure. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.